Okay, today we're going to have a demo for you on a shooting grinder. Uh, this is a nice little machine made over in Switzerland. Actually, it's a uh, very accurate, very precise grinder. Uh, we took it apart. Uh, the scraping on here is amazing, and we do have some photos of that. Um, it's a very solid, well-built machine, very quiet. Uh, I have a lot of knowledge on this machine because I actually worked for this company for about eight or nine years and continue to service them after that. So what we have here is uh, a fully automatic uh, machine with spark out, uh, plunge feed, uh, pick feed, traverse grinding, wrap it in, wrap it out, variable speed on the headstock, uh, fine adjustment for the taper on the tail stock, automatic in feed. It's equipped with uh, in-process gauging. This is the Marpos in-process gauge, and this is the amplifier. It's all wired into the machine, but it does not have to be used. The machine can be used with or without the gauge. Um, the tailstock here, for those of you who know about grinding, I mean, this, this has never been touched by the wheel. It's never been hit. Whoever ran this machine, and I know who had it, it was a, it was a big company, and this, this was doing a very fine job. Uh, and whoever ran the machine knew what they were doing. It's immaculate condition. It's also set up with a semi-production uh, kind of a thing with the gauge, with this hood down, with the cycle start switch. Uh, if you don't want to use that, you can just put this up out of the way and uh, select with the switch here that you want to use it the normal way, which would be to have your work head here start. Now this is adjustable, your variable speed. Uh, next thing would be to bring the slide in. So now our wheel head just moved in close to our part and you want to make sure that you weren't hitting the part. And then on the next lever here, uh, we would either start our table moving. In this case, we're, we're traverse grinding. And you can slow that right down. And as you see, each time we make a pass, we feed. Now with this knob here, we can adjust only for the left side or only on the right side, or like it is now, a feeding on both sides. I want to stop my table go to zero and we can send the head back this automatically retracts the amount we just took off if I want to take a little more I can release the clutch here and engage this again and then start my cycle again work, work is turning wheels coming in and now I'm going into the feed mode now I'm in plunge I got to open up my plunge feed valve here and we start to we start to feed this has a dual plunge feed a coarse feed and a fine so when I get to a certain point right there we can set a finer feed rate so that it'll feed fast to one point and then um, feed to a fine. If you don't like using the two feeds, you can, you can also bypass that. So that's that there. Um, it's a 14 inch grinding wheel. Sheen is currently wired for 440 volts. It's equipped with a, um, a dead stop here that's mounted solidly on the table and on, on the, the base of the machine and this is adjustable. You can slide this around. It's got almost a micrometer type adjustment to finely tune it in there. We're going to take a break at the video here. We're going to put the gauge over by the wheel and we're going to kind of try and simulate how it would run with an in-process gauge. But if we're not actually grinding any work pieces, um, you know, the, the gauge is just going to go in, it's going to close on air and it's going to, the machine will retract automatically. It won't wait to get to zero and then spark out, which uh, we haven't even shown you yet. So let's do that. Uh, let's go back to the plunge feed. And if I turn my spark out on up here, this is your spark out timer. When it gets to zero, it will, now it goes into the fine feed. And when it gets to zero, we're gonna start a spark out time. Now it's at zero. And depending on how you have this set here, it's going to stay here until it kicks out on its own. And when it kicks out, the coolant, which we do have for the machine, which will, goes behind it, it's a large uh, paper band system. It has, a, it has a heater in it that's connected to the machine. Uh, all the wiring is done. You just have to put it in there to monitor the temperature. Um, as you can see, this has a collet. I don't know if I mentioned we have a collet closer here. Uh, what else is there? That's pretty much it. We're going to close it out. We're going to come back later when we have the in-process gauge hooked up and, and simulate how that would work. Thank you.